Good evening in your business news tonight. Our top story this evening focuses on Capitec, the prominent digital bank in South Africa, which has recently reported exceptional financial results. The bank's earnings have surged by 16%, reaching an impressive 10.6 billion rand. Moreover, the group's earnings experienced an extraordinary growth rate of 25% during the second half of the fiscal year, concluding on February 29, 2024. Capitec attributes this remarkable achievement to its diversified business model, with non-interest income now constituting a substantial 72% of its total revenue. Remarkably, Capitec's success extends beyond financial figures. The bank's active client base has expanded by 10%, reaching a remarkable 22 million, while its app user base has grown by an impressive 19%. Kheri Forim, the CEO of Capitec, attributes this outstanding growth to the bank's investment in advanced systems, innovative payment solutions and the establishment of three new business units. Investment analyst at FNB, Setembile Bupila, sheds more light on this. So Capitec released a robust set of numbers, sending the share price rallying upwards of 7% on the day, with certain top and bottom line metrics coming in ahead of what the market was anticipating, especially on the dividend, which would be very welcomed by income-seeking investors. Some of the key highlights we picked up from the results were strong earnings growth, headline earnings per share grew 16%, which was at the upper end of management's guidance. They saw double-digit contributions from the key units, retail banking, insurance, and business banking as well. They posted inline net interest income growth of 16% with the net interest margin, which is the difference between what the bank profits in interest uh, compared to what it pays depositors. That expanded 98 basis points, but the main driver of the performance was the 29% year-on-year growth in net transaction and commission income. The revenue from the newly launched value-added services segments was a key component of that growth. They saw a strong beat on non-interest revenue as well, which speaks to good operational momentum as well as continued client growth. In terms of defaults, the increase in credit losses wasn't a surprise given the current environment. What was noteworthy was the improvement in retail credit losses in the second half compared to the first half, which was encouraging. <laughs>